Hi, Chef Joe here again, Meredith's Medical Center, one location at our weekly farmer's market in the atrium at Robin Wood Medical Center. Our farmer's market uh, has been in existence since May 2009. This is our third year. We have approximately five to six vendors, depending on uh, what week we are, we're in. Um, as you can see, they're lined up here behind us. We have everything from fruits, vegetables, meats, uh, artisan cheeses, baked goods, and uh, seafood from time to time. We're the second largest employer in Washington County, and uh, we felt a responsibility to the community at large to sort of give something back, and a farmer's market was a natural, natural way to do that. Uh, we obviously promote good health. What better way to promote good health than to have a farmer's market? Fresh local produce available to our employees. Like I said, we run every Tuesday from two to five, from the Tuesday after Mother's Day up through Christmas. This afternoon, we're gonna go to a couple different vendors and I'm gonna show you the correct way to pick out produce. Um, not necessarily at a produce market, at a farmer's market, but in your local grocery store. Certain things that you can look for, certain tricks of the trade, so to speak, and I think it'll be a big, uh, a big help to everybody out there in selecting the proper produce. Before we go any further here at the market, I'm gonna teach you a little bit about how to select different types of produce. For example, we're gonna look at tomatoes first. There are three different types of tomatoes uh, that we can use. We have the globe variety, which are obviously large and round. We have the grape or cherry variety, which are obviously a little bit smaller. And last but not least, we have the Roma. You're going to select a tomato depending on what it is that you're going to use it for. The globe variety is great for slicing for sandwiches. The smaller cherry variety is great on salads or just eating by itself because of its sweetness. And the Roma variety is great for making sauces, stews, soups, things like that. Whenever we select any tomato, we want to look at a couple different things. One, we want to make sure the skin is smooth, free of blemishes. We want to make sure the fruit has a bright red color. We want to make sure the stem area is indented into the fruit. And we want to make sure that it's heavy for its size. Next thing we're going to talk about is the proper way to select a melon. How do you know when a melon's ripe? This is one of the most common questions we get at the farmer's market, just trying to figure out when you're in a grocery store to market, what's the best way to select a melon you know is going to be ripe, sweet, and just ready to go? First thing you want to look for, you see a lot of people tapping on a melon. There's a reason for that. If you flip it over and find the side that it laid down, it's usually yellowish in color. If you flip it around and put it up to your ear and listen to it and tap the yellow spot, you can hear it resonate from one side of the melon to the other side. If you can hear it resonate from one side of the melon to the other side, that melon's right. If it gives a dull fud and the sound does not resonate all the way through that melon, that melon's not ripe and you may want to select another one. Another way that we can tell if we have a good melon, we're going to use a cantaloupe this time, is on the end where the stem met the melon. Whenever a melon's ripe, you simply twist it and it pops right off the stem. Where the stem connected will be recessed down into the melon. That way you know that melon is nice and fresh and sweet and ready to be eaten. If where the stem connected is sticking out, you know that melon was forcibly removed from the, from the vine. It's not ready to be eaten yet. You may want to select another melon. Again, you can tell you want the melon to be um, almost creamish in color. And again, you can tap the side and listen for resonation all the way through the melon. If you get that, you know you've got a good melon. Barb from Blue Mountain Produce. Barb, why do you think it's important uh, to have a farmer's market? Well, I think it's great, first of all, to support local small farmers in the area. I think it's good for the economy, but also you get fresh produce, not shipped in from who knows where in the world. But also, um, our, our produce, everything that we grow is pesticide free. So I, most people are very conscientious about these days, and they like to know that there's not a bunch of chemicals on their produce. So, and everything that we can, we sell is been picked or dug or <laughs> chopped or whatever within the last uh, 24 hours. So it's nice and fresh. These are so fresh. These were picked this morning. This morning. I haven't even had a chance to get them in the crate. The next thing we're going to look at are any of our vine vegetables. They all pretty much. Um, can be classified in the same way. Whenever you pick one up, you want to make sure that the skin is smooth and free of blemishes as you would with any fruit or vegetable. You want to see if the fruit is heavy for its size. You want it to be heavy for its size. An eggplant, you want to make sure that it's a deep purplish, blackish color. And you always want to make sure that the cap, where the stem connects the fruit, is bright green. 
A small amount of discoloration is no problem. A large amount of discoloration indicates that the fruit or vegetable has been picked well before you're going to buy it. You want to try to find one that has a bright green cap, just like these vegetables we see here. This has been Chef Joe at the Meredith Medical Center Farmer's Market here from the Robin Wood Atrium. I hope you've enjoyed our segment and I hope you can use these helpful tips to help you select the best fruits and vegetables at your local produce stand or farmer's market. You're watching Your Health Matters brought to you by Meredith Health. Stay tuned.